Thank you, President uh, Gubaskaite. It's uh, great to be back in Lithuania and great to meet with uh, you. Here in Lithuania, I see our alliance at its uh, best. Uh, I see 28 nations united by trust, united by solidarity, united by our resolve to stand by each other, and uh, Lithuania is uh, committed uh, to NATO. You help make a difference in Afghanistan and in Kosovo. You show leadership on important NATO initiatives like the Energy Security Center of Excellence, which you host here in Vilnius. And your determination to increase defense spending in the years ahead is an example for other allies. And I really commend you for your efforts uh, of uh, increasing defense spending because that is a commitment we made together and it's great to see that you are delivering on that uh, commitment. NATO is committed uh, to keeping Lithuania safe and to keeping all allies safe. Allies, aircraft, police, the Baltic skies, NATO ships patrol the Baltic Sea, and we are carrying out uh, more and larger NATO exercises. Today, we took another step together. We just inaugurated the new NATO force integration units here in Vilnius, as we are doing in five other Eastern European countries. In Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Poland, and Romania. These small headquarters are a vital link between national forces and the forces of other NATO allies. They will make it easier for our troops to deploy together, whether for exercises or in response to a real threat. We seek confrontation with no one. But we find ourselves in a world of more and more complex challenges, like a more assertive Russia. Moscow continues to fuel the violence in Ukraine by providing the separatists with forces, equipment, and training. Russia and the separatists must demonstrate their commitment to the Minsk agreements, not only in words, but also in deeds. And I welcome also the efforts uh, to have a, a renewed ceasefire. And it's important that, that all parties respect and implement the a renewed uh, ceasefire. NATO is monitoring the situation carefully. And we are responding with proportionate defensive measures. We are doing what is necessary to safeguard all allies against any threat from any direction. And we will always do that. Lithuania is part of the most successful alliance in history. You can count on NATO today and every day. And I know that NATO can count on Lithuania. So Madam President, thank you once again for your strong commitment to our alliance. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. General Secretary. First question, uh, Lithuanian National Radio. Why the NATO force integration units are being opened in Lithuania, in Vilnius? What's their meaning? Are you going to limit yourselves to six units or more? I can only commend Lithuania on this occasion. It is symbolic. And I would not uh, take any more credit for that. Secretary General co could comment on that more. But as far as I know, the symbolic opening of all the six force integration units have been uh, the uh, in Vilnius. NATO force integration units uh, are very important because they are a vital link uh, between uh, national forces and multinational NATO forces. They will do planning, they will uh, uh, organize exercises, they will uh, make it easy to reinforce uh, if needed. 
and they will uh, strengthen uh, NATO's presence in uh, uh, this part of the alliance. Uh, and also the NATO force integration units uh, are uh, a part of a larger plan, uh, which is uh, called the Readiness Action Plan. And this Readiness Action Plan is uh, something we have been very focused on implementing. And this is about uh, making our forces more ready, more prepared. And we have doubled the size of the NATO response force. We have established a new uh, very high uh, readiness joint task force or a speedhead force. I've already seen it. Uh, it. It was deployed in Poland during an exercise there in June. And we have also uh, implemented what we, called re, uh, what we uh, call reassurance measures meaning more air policing, uh, more naval presence in the Black Sea and the Baltic Sea, and also more troops on the ground on rotational basis doing exercises. So the NATO force integration units are important in itself, but also because they are one important element of a bigger plan and adaptation of NATO to a more challenging security environment. And it is an honor for me to be in Vilnius and to uh, take part in this uh, inauguration and to declare the uh, units for open uh, here in Vilnius, but as I said, also in five other uh, allied uh, countries. Uh, dear Secretary General, uh, I would like to ask you what do you think Russia's reaction will be on the establishment of uh, command posts and will it not make the country more aggressive toward us? Everything NATO does is uh, proportionate, it is defensive and it's fully in line with our international uh, commitments. Uh, NATO has to respond, uh, we have to adapt when we see that the environment around us is changing. And what we have seen uh, during the last year uh, is a more uh, assertive uh, Russia being responsible for aggressive actions, uh, especially in Ukraine, um, uh, illegally annexing Crimea, and uh, continuing to destabilizing eastern Ukraine. And therefore, NATO has to react, and that's exactly what we're doing. And there is uh, no reason whatsoever uh, to uh, be provoked by the fact that NATO is adapting uh, to a more challenging uh, uh, security environment. So these uh, small headquarters are vital, they are important, but they are a part of a defensive, proportionate uh, response uh, from NATO to a more challenging security environment. I can shortly add that uh, NATO is supposed to protect and defend, but not supposed to please anybody. Next question, Bulgarian National TV, please. Yes, thank you. Mr. Stoltenberg, you, you just spoken about uh, air policing, but uh, I understand that uh, the number of the, of the aircraft patrolling over the Baltic skies uh, has been reduced uh, from 16 to 8. How do you think this will affect the, uh, the security in the region? And Madame Grabovskaita, are you concerned ab uh, about this uh, reduction? Thank you. Our commitment to uh, collective defense is rock solid, and uh, we are also strongly committed uh, to uh, continuing the air uh, policing. And the Baltic air policing mission uh, is strong, and uh, we will continue to do air policing in this area. And actually, we saw uh, planes from the air policing mission uh, passing over when we inaugurated uh, uh, NFIU, or the small headquarters, uh, today. Uh, we have the plane we need to do air uh, policing, uh, and we will continue uh, with air policing as long as uh, necessary. So there is no reason to be concerned. Uh, we will continue, and we are committed, and we have the planes we need. So no, we are not concerned because uh, the Baltic skies uh, were mainly guarded before by 12. The four was uh, guarding the Polish uh, skies. So in reality, Poland is taking over by itself, uh, by its own planes. In reality, only four planes have been reduced, but it was a calculated reduction, uh, uh, taking into account all threats and real uh, challenges around in our skies. So we are uh, under 
confidence uh, that uh, NATO is capable to provide uh, full security for our uh, uh, space. The last question from BNS News Service. Uh, Baltic News Service. The last question from BNS. Uh, Mr. Secretary General, you mentioned that you welcome the renewed commitment on the new ceasefire in, in Ukraine from, from September 1, I understand. Are you optimistic that this time this ceasefire would last? Ir ponė prezidentė, kalbo jūs užsiminėt, kad jau 2018 metais Lietuva galėtų pasiekti 2 procentus bendro įvados produktų ir apsaugos politinės uh, implement and, and to respect uh, uh, the uh, ceasefire. Uh, the reports we are getting from Ukraine is, uh, are a bit mixed, so I think it's a bit too early to tell exactly what's going on on the uh, ground, uh, but uh, at least the renewed commitment offers a fresh opportunity uh, for all parties uh, to fully implement the Minsk agreements. And the Minsk agreements is uh, the best possible way uh, towards a political solution uh, of the conflict in uh, uh, Ukraine uh, and for a peaceful solution uh, uh, in eastern uh, Ukraine. Uh, and therefore it is so important that all parties respect all elements of the uh, Minsk agreements. And I uh, urge all parties to exercise uh, restraint and also pursue a solution to this crisis through diplomatic uh, channels. Uh, it is important that the ceasefire is respected. It is important that uh, all parties withdraw heavy weapons uh, uh, in accordance with the uh, Minsk agreements from the uh, contact line. And of course, it's also very important that uh, monitors from uh, the uh, OSCE or, or the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe uh, are allowed full access uh, to the area so they can do monitoring of the ceasefire in a safe way. And uh, Russia has a special responsibility because Russia continues to uh, support the separatists and uh, thereby violating the uh, Minsk agreement. I welcome the decision by the Rada uh, on uh, decentralization. Uh, that shows that uh, Ukraine is implementing uh, the Minsk agreements. And now I uh, uh, underline the importance of uh, uh, all others to do uh, uh, the same, to uh, fully honor the ceasefire and the Minsk agreements. The Lietuvos, uh, uh as, re as regards our defense spending, for 2016 we had a fixed sum and we considered our commitments for the coming several years because we had to buy specific equipment which is costly and long term. That's why we're talking about the nearest three years and the sums that are necessary for reinforcement of our national capabilities. So it's realistic to expect that 150 million per year within three years will let us reach the f percentage of GDP for defense spending soon enough. We also have to reinforce our border control, public law enforcement, and so on. So we have an agreement uh, on the schedule, and politicians are the same as consider that the agreement by 2020 will be reached, the targets will be reached, and I can see that Mr. Kirkilas and Mr. Kubilus are nodding in agreement with me. So that uh, by 2018, Lithuania will also be able to accord you know, the necessary funding.